Hello, everyone. It's your girl, Violet. I know you're wondering what is happening. Um, this is an ad. I know, I know, I know. We hit you with an ad. We do apologize, but we wanted to spread the word. Um, Anchor is what we're using to record our podcasts. So if you're wanting to start your own podcast, you've been thinking about it and you feel like it's a lot of work and you just can't do it, I promise you can do it. My friend Cleo is the one who told me about Anchor. So we've been recording on Anchor since we started. You can get the app if you have storage on your phone. If you don't have storage on your phone, you can use Anchor because it is a website. So it's anchor.fm. That is the website to use. So you can use it on your computer or your phone. That's really the only things, two things that you do need. You can record on your phone. You can distribute it on your phone. You can like do everything on your phone or your computer. So um, everything that you need for the podcast is in one place. You can make money from your podcast. There's no minimum listenership, so you don't have to worry about any of that. Your episode is distributed automatically to eight different platforms every single time you press publish. So a few of them are Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. So you can use those as your main if you want to. They have a few more like Breaker and Radio um, Cast and all those other things. So we are on other um, streaming services thanks to Anchor. It does it automatically. Um, the creation tools allow you to edit your podcast like your phone, like I said. And the best part to all of this is it is totally free. Free, 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 free. free, free, free. free. So, you know... Thank you, Anchor. Anchor has allowed us to reach all of you, and we hope to grow and stuff with you guys. But if you want to record a podcast, Anchor is the place to be. All right. Bye. Bye. Enjoy the episode. Hey, guys. It's Cleo. It's your girl, Violet. And welcome to 20-something. Okay, so let me just get us started by saying today's episode is going to be a bit of a, I don't want to say a rant, but I just want to like shine light on um, girls that are in other countries that might be dealing with stuff because they don't get the same, what is it called, publicity, Mm -hmm. and they don't get the same, uh, I guess, response from the legal system as they should when horrible things happen to them, so. Yeah. Yeah. My like friend, as it as it as it does in like America. Yeah, like in Western countries, like in the U.S., you know, even though they still low key don't give a fuck about us. It's oh a wait, bit, say, say the topic first. It's a little bit better. Okay. Oh, okay, so cool. The topic is um, professors um, or teachers. Teachers, taking yeah, teachers advantage taking of advantage of students. That's, pretty much. Yeah, I don't know how in to in a work sexual that. manner for grades, but specifically in reference to a video that um, I saw. Yeah, so yeah. one of my friends um had posted on her IG story, like, it was, like, from BBC Africa mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah. Oh, no, no, it was BBC, like, London, I thought. Yeah. Shumsha, okay, well, basically, it was a British-funded um, or British, you know, Corp- pa- like, powered media, media. Pro- yeah, yeah. program, and they went to African, West African countries, specifically Ghana and Nigeria, mm-hmm. and for those of you who are new, um, both um, Cleo and I are Nigerian, even like you were Nigerian American, the both of us. So I had actually, you know, been to Nigeria a few times, even though, um, you know, I was born here and I went to school in Nigeria for middle school. So like when I was seeing the video, I was like getting flashbacks and I was like, this is just ridiculous Mm -hmm. because honestly, like (laughs) these teachers don't care. So basically in the video, these girls, um, came out and obviously they didn't show their faces because they like will be found and like killed probably if yeah. they were telling on teachers because these people have like you know they're prestigious people in the community so they came and they were saying that um you know teachers always molest you know girls for grades and um admission and just like little shit that your grades are by themselves supposed to allow you to like you know receive like you should be getting good grades just because you study but if the girl looks good and they, you know, make a pass at sis and she doesn't want to, they'll fail her. Yeah. And so there had been many people who have been failing out of universities because they didn't want to do anything with the professors or if they wanted um, entry into the school, they couldn't even get in to the school because they, you know, weren't fucking around with the professors. So um, when I was watching that video, I was like, wow, this seems so much like <laughs> when I went to boarding school. So I went to boarding school in Nigeria, I was in middle school, like I said, so when I got sent back, I was 10, 
So a lot of the uh, upperclassmen were like 12, 14, 16. I don't think, I don't even know if there were any 18 year olds at my school because for whatever reason, schools in Nigeria, they kind of do a rush program and kids finish high school like at 16, 17, okay? So I remember when I had first got there, there was like, you know, talks around campus that a few girls were like wayward. And I was like, oh shit, like, you know, thinking it was just regular gossip like oh you know she's mean my innocent ass i was like oh wow is she mean like why don't people like her and then they were like yeah no she's a very bad girl she's doing things with the, with the professor for with the master because that's what we used to call our teachers mm -hmm. i don't even want to talk about that shit that shit is so fucking weird but yeah master i wonder why let's not forget nigeria was colonized by england <laughs> calling these white ass people master under your teachers <laughs> That's a bit weird. It is so odd. Like, it is so weird. So, they're like, yeah, she's she's sleeping with Master. Da -da -da -da. She's doing things with him. You know, she's a halot. Colin, sis, a prostitute. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody that's 14. Wow. And you know, when you're younger, older people just, like, older kids seem way older. So you're like, wow, really? She's so grown. Like, oh, my God, how is she having sex with the teacher? You don't even, I didn't even really know what the hell sex really was. I just knew it involved getting naked, but I didn't, and touching and stuff. And I was like, how old are you? 10. I don't know. I mean, I, was, I used to be watching porn and stuff before mm. that, but mm. it was like. Really? Mm. That early? Girl, at eight. Oh. I started. Wow. But I, it was never guy and girl porn. And I thought oh. it was, it was just like kissing porn. Cause that's all I used to, mm. my parents used to not I let me. I meant like they were Okay. Oh no no no! I, was like, wow. I, I didn't I didn't know that you could do more than just kiss. Cause I remember when <laughs> movies used to play, my parents would tell me to look away on the kissing part. So I'll go kiss me, <laughs> and I'll be like people kissing naked, <laughs> naked. Wow, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you know who will pop up? Girls. Oh, because girls, yeah. all niggas did in porn was sex. Yeah. So I never I didn't know that. Yeah. I still didn't even know. So you so you just. Girl, we getting off topic. I know, but but yeah, like so, I I still didn't know that like you know it involved like penis, and I was just like, oh, they're probably kissing and naked and touching each other. I was like, wow, the teacher. <laughs> the okay, so in the video, I just I really want to. Can you play a clip? Can you like pull up your phone and oh. find a clip as I tell the story? Because I really want y'all to hear what these teachers were saying because it's so they, sick. They probably won't be able to hear it though. You can pull it like hold it up to the phone. I know, but they're not gonna. Like, he was already talking low in the clip. Oh, okay. Like, so, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's so true. Okay, so, there was a part in the video where um, homie was, like, telling the girl that she needs to be obedient and she needs to come see him so she can get admission. So, they basically sent, like, an investigative journalist to Nigeria, a Nigerian woman, so it wasn't odd. Like, and so, you know, she put on the accent and everything, and they sent one to, to Ghana. So, um, the dude from Nigeria was telling her, mm -hmm, the professor from Nigeria was telling her that there's a club that teachers have, and that, you know, girls come, and they touch them a little bit, mm -hmm. and they smooch them a little bit, and, you know, they touch their breasts, and just so blatantly like it wasn't even no he didn't try to finesse it he didn't try to use code words because everybody knows what it is like yeah. you know at least here i feel like they try to romance you a little bit <laughs> like they try to try to wine and dine you make you feel like they like you yeah like he literally was telling her like you have to do this and this and this and then you'll get in just like that because everybody knows so you know obviously it's a documentary so they told the schools the findings mm -hmm. and then the schools were was trying to act like they didn't know they were like wow that were so uh, disappointed in this behavior that it, they didn't fire homie. Nothing, nothing happened. They didn't do anything. They didn't do shit because the owners of the school are probably part of the fucking club. Like they yeah. all do the same shit. Like yeah. it's so corrupt. It's actually disgusting. And Ni I feel like Nigeria really hates women. Like I really feel like mm. that. Like girl, when I was in school, like, um, so since I was in boarding school, I used to go home for holidays. So there was this story. So um, I used to go to my aunt's house in Enugu. So, um, there is this, which is basically, it's basically, it's a, it's a, it's a state. So basically I went home to Houston type shit. And so across my aunt's house in Anugu, there was a university because she lived like in like a better part of Nigeria, even though it wasn't like rich, rich. Basically I felt like I was in the suburbs, like mm -hmm. Nigerian version. So there was a, um, a university across the street and there was a new story that there was this <laughs> student 
she was raped wow. by her classmates. Mm -hmm. I think it was like um, five or six of them raped her, right? <laughs> you know what these people were saying? Mm. They're, my aunt was saying it. She was like, oh, it was so sad. Like, this girl, she was raped. This, this, that. And she was like, but why would she go and study with a group of boys? And then they just switched the whole thing to start talking about how she should try to be safe and how she should know better and do better and she's a girl so da 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 and then like when there were when I heard people talking about what happened they were saying that she's 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 known to be sleeping around anyways and she dresses anyhow anyways and it's not even like they didn't even rape her she could have did this she could have I said six people mm. her class six of them that were studying all of them were had their books out doing their homework yeah and six of them raped her and you're telling me she could have done something about it what is she supposed to do about it? It's, yeah, at that point, it's really too late. Girl, hey! Even even then, even then, I was like, nah, there, these people are talking nonsense. Even mm -hmm. though I, like, I felt like I, I didn't know better because of the way I was, you know, thinking when people were calling those girls in my grade, you know, dirty for doing stuff with the teacher. I just felt like that, you know, was you chose to do that at the time. I was like, oh yeah, you know, they went to the teacher and they tried to do show him their boobs so they can get better grades. Yeah. In my head, it wasn't like, I didn't see that as rape, but I knew that for this for sure was, I was like, no, six of them. And she, they were supposed to be doing homework. And they like, they, oh girl, they beat her ass and everything too. Like it was oh, so wow. bad. It was so bad. It was so bad. They didn't do shit. Nobody just, nobody said anything. They were really just talking shit about her. And those niggas did Everybody knew who it was too. They didn't get expelled. Nothing happened. So going to the school. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to tell me that they're about to fire these teachers? Yeah. That's a fucking lie. They're not going to do shit. There was a girl in the video um, that was actually molested by one of the professors. And she was saying that she even tried to like commit suicide. Like multiple suicide attempts. And I was just like, and these people are not taking this serious because... That happened so much is just normal at this point. Like I was so disgusted in the video. He was touching on her and he was talking about some uh this is what you're supposed to do and you know, you need to not be shy and you're acting like a baby when the reporter was like getting like, Oh bro, like, mm. you know, kinda of back away from me and he started laughing at her and telling her that she needs to do a better job or there's gonna be consequences. What are, what are you gonna do? Beat me? No, he's he's gonna you're gonna deny my admission into the school. Like this girl came to him to talk to him about getting into the school and he started talking about sex. Please. If you're so comfortable to just do it with anybody, then you're not worried about getting fired because you're not even trying to be discreet or slick with your shit. Yeah. One of the girls was saying that there was a time, like one of the victims was saying there was a time where um he called her into the office and was like, you know, our Nigerian people are really like big on religion. And he was mm -hmm. reading her Bible verses. Yeah. And touching her. At the same time. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so sorry. It's not funny. It's actually not funny, but I'm just like... It's... How? How can you believe in, in, in God and believe in the Bible and you're doing that? You don't feel like your hand is gonna fall off mm -hmm. as you're as you're doing it. You're talking about God as you're molesting somebody. Like you know that's not right. Yeah. I like you know that's not right. Like you have Jesus playing like at, in the at that point I feel like some people they start getting into like what they feel like is God power. That's why it's yes. just bad when people get too much power because they start flipping it and start feeling like, Wow, if I'm able to get away with all of this and able to do this, this and that like I must be, I must be like godlike. I'm on a different level from these people. Girl, that's you know I never thought about that. Yeah, that's so true. So they I don't was like, see, how they don't see it, like like they really feel the see themselves as being like unstoppable. Cause I was like, how can like that is the most contradicting shit ever. Yeah, I said, how can you like they'll even re twist it, it to where they're like, um, if God saw this as wrong or God if God thought this was bad, then he would have stopped me by now. That is so true. That is so true. Because I went to a Catholic school, you guys. A Catholic boarding school. Girl. Okay. So, I don't know. I, I don't know what teachers specifically because I never got to upperclassmen classes. But apparently some of them upperclassmen teachers would actually do stuff with underage girls. Just because. I don't even know if it was to give them better grade. I don't know. 
Like, but I do know mm. that I don't think that I like now mm. after leaving that school, I don't think those girls went up to the professor and showed their Didn't tits yeah. and said, oh, yo, give me a better grade. I feel like the professor came out to them. Yeah. And then, and then they felt like they had to. In order yeah, to, so they didn't like, fail. Maybe not even to fail, just because, like... Just because... You know, like, that whole, like, that whole uh, system is really... Cor- like, it's very... It's a corrupt type of situation. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mindset it's a of, men- like... Yeah, it's a mental thing. Like, you're getting someone mentally, like... A lot of people, when things like that happen to them, like... They don't know... Like, look at look at that example you just said of the girl who was raped by those six, six, five, six guys. You know what I'm saying? And everybody blamed her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I think female, like females, already know that shit. Like that's why a lot of people already don't say shit. They already, you know, they just don't know how things are gonna happen. Like they, she, they probably feel like, okay, if I don't do this now, okay, this is gonna happen and this is gonna happen. Yeah. You know. Or he's gonna like tell other professors yeah. that I came to him. Yeah. And then I'll get kicked out to yeah. school. Because like that's such a, a, a sick. It's just like a really sick situation to be in because it's like you don't even know what way to turn you exactly you don't know, exactly. Way, you don't know who, to, who to talk to like at least believe at you. least in the u.s if you if you choose to speak out like there call, will be somebody you like, can call the fucking police even if even you know if like your 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 parents don't believe you god forbid you know yeah i know but i know that happens excuse me you'll you know you can at least con- at least confide in confide in somebody a counselor like you know somebody will be there to hear you out and like listen to you and stuff like that yeah but you know there it's like there's no one to fucking you fucking call the police and they'll rape you too i'm not and i'm not even trying to they'll fucking rape you too and then tell you that's your business yeah so it's like you literally cannot talk to anybody who who are you gonna fucking call what counselor i don't even know if that's a fucking profession somebody if y'all know please let me know because i really do not know i don't know if they have that shit there i never heard of it like i remember when i got there they used to be telling me oh you know, because, oh yeah, because the teachers and, you know, other students that are older than you can discipline you by, you know, flugging you and stuff. So they used to be telling me, oh, you think this is America where you can call 911? I want to see who you're going to call. They used to be telling me that, but yeah. I didn't even do shit. <laughs> after, they hit, after they hit me, just to show me that they could hit me. Just to show me. I'm like, why are you acting like my parents didn't hit me when I was in the U.S.? And I was yeah. like, and then why are you laughing in my face that I can't call nobody? Are you yeah. going to beat me till I'm fucking bloodied up? <laughs> yeah like what the fuck is wrong with these people so, you see the type of mindset that these adults are talking to little kids with so then when they come up to little kids please i want y'all to get into through your head middle schoolers ages 10 to 16 and i'm over here looking at sis that is probably 16 at tops as a whore because she went to go and talk to a professor a professor her and a professor were kissing or a teacher were kissing who is the who's really the rapist out here who? Even if even if the girl did come on to you, you're thirty something and she's how old, so you shouldn't be even entertaining that. Yeah. But they would, and then they would talk. The, uh, the everybody would know. Everybody, everybody would know. Everybody would know. And I went to a school where the teachers, some of them were Reverend brothers, and some of the teachers were Reverend sisters. Mm-hmm. I'm Catholic. Uh, I already said I went to a Catholic school. So it's like okay, even the teachers that aren't, even if you're doing stuff with the teachers that aren't, you know, Reverend brothers and sisters. Okay, your other employees, your coworkers should know, you know, as a reverend brother, as a reverend sister, mm-hmm. maybe I should be telling this guy that's talking to these girls funny, looking at these girls funny that I know, you know, girls are whispering about because these teachers take care of us because we live at school. These teachers take care of us. We live with some of the teachers and on in the dorms. Like, you know what I'm saying? They hear whispers. Like, it's not like they don't know what's going on because they're the, our caretakers. Like, they're our teachers and they're also our caretakers. So we always saw them. So it's like after hearing all of these girls complaining about stuff, I don't know if the women are unable to do anything about it. And I feel like that's probably what it is. Or if they just don't give a fuck because none of these teachers ever got fired. I never heard of not one teacher getting fired. And I had a teacher who even did that shit to me when I was uh, when I was 10. Mm. And I didn't even tell my parents. I still haven't told my parents. I'm not even going to tell them because what the hell is even the point? I, that's You know, someone that had sense probably would have told their parents, like, yo, you know, this happened to me so I don't get sent back. But it was so regular. Like, mm. when I told my friends, they were like, you know, when I told my friends, like, at, in school, they were like, oh, yeah, you know, you just need to um, stay away from him. I've had some things about him. Yeah. So I was like. So then it was just like, that was the only response. Nobody was so shocked to the point where I was like, okay, this is a big deal. Mm -hmm. It was so regular. Like, I went because I got called into his office because he was saying, like, um, one of my teachers was saying that 
my notes were shit because I used to not be able to take notes well. And so if they can't read your notes, you get a zero on your on your homework assignment because they can't read it. So they'll rip it up. So she came. So I went to her office and the offices had like multiple people in there. So it wasn't just like one teacher per office. So I went in there because she told me to come during lunch and she wasn't in there. So it was just him. And I've seen him around campus. So obviously I'm from the U.S. So there's a few people from America. And so all the teachers know the American kids and all the kids know the American kids. So it was maybe like six or seven of us that were from the U.S., at least for my set, like, you know, new kids that came from America that year. So he was one of the teachers that was actually pretty nice to me, but I didn't have him as a teacher. Mm -hmm. He was an upperclassman teacher, but um, I think my brother had him in a class and he liked my brother. A lot of the teachers liked my brother because my brother was smart. So whenever I saw him, he was nice to me. And so I was like, oh, okay. So I said, oh, hi, master, whatever the fuck his name was. I forgot what his name was. And then he was like, oh, hi. And I was asking him where um, the teacher was. And I said, where is, um, you know, auntie, whoever her name was. And then he said that she wasn't there. So I was like, oh, okay. So I was like, okay, well, um, she told me to give her my notes. Do you know when she'll be back? He said, no, but he was like, oh, but you can stay and wait for her. Thankfully, something in my my head was like, don't stay in here and wait for this lady. So I was like, oh, no, it's okay. I'll just go and I'll just come back later. And this man was like, oh, oh, oh. So he got up. And so I waited. So I was like, okay, he has to tell me something. Mm -hmm. And so our uniform is like, was, is a dress, but it's weird. It's so, it was so odd. So you know those collared shirts that have buttons? Like, you know, those regular collared shirts that have buttons all the way down? That's kind of how the dress was. So it was, it had a collar. And it had the buttons, like a men's shirt, all the way down. And then, like, at the belly area, the um, the buttons stop. And then it goes into, like, a plaid skirt type of situation. And then, like, it's, like, short sleeves. So that was our uniform. So apparently... Oh, yeah, and I also started growing my boobs early. So, I like, when I was 10, I had boobs. Like, I was, like, a C cup. Like, I was, like, a, a hefty B to C cup. But I'm pretty sure I was a C cup at this point. I know for sure when I was 11, I was a C cup, C cup. So... At this point, I have boobs. So he came and he was like, oh. So he got up. And I was waiting. I was like, okay, is something on my head or something? Because he's looking at me in my face. Then he's taller than me. So I didn't know my button, apparently, was, was open. I still don't think it was. But he was looking at me and I was looking at him. And I was like, yes. And <laughs> she said, oh, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, yes. This man was looking down my shirt. And so I looked down mm -hmm. to see. Before I could even look down, he fixed he, he reached his hand inside my breast. I'm not even kidding. He, and he fixed my button. Um, why and did he touch your titties, though? You're asking me. I don't know. Mm. Girl, after that, like, my, ooh. I got chills, and my, yeah. my, my heart dropped to my stomach. And I was like, my smile so faltered. My, he was He was smiling at me. He, and he didn't say anything after. And I was like, oh, thank you. And he was like, no problem, me on your button. I was like, okay. And I was like, yeah, I'll just come back. And so I ran away. Like, yeah, I literally ran, ran out of the office. Yeah. Because, like, I didn't want him to... I, like, my smile faltered, but I didn't drop it. Because I didn't want him to notice that I wasn't smiling anymore, just in case. He yeah. got mad at me. Yeah. And, like, tried to do something. Yeah. So I was like, eh. And <laughs> after that, every single time I saw him, mm. I would literally walk the, walk the other way fast. Mm. And I would feel him looking at me. Like, I would feel him looking at me. There was one time I saw him, and he was like, Oh, Violet, you don't visit me anymore. And I was like, um, yeah, you know, school. Is, I'm busy, you know, I'm sorry. And I was trying to, like, you know, appease him. He walked up to try to come and talk to me. And thankfully, I was, like, you know, outside of the office, the school office, so other teachers were there. So they were looking at us. Like, I remember some of the female teachers were looking at me to just see what I was going to do. Yeah. And I was like, do they know that this man is creepy? Or are they just like, why is she here? Like, I'm confused as to why they were staring at me. And it was like, I don't know if you guys have been around African people, but African women have really judgmental stares. Mm -hmm. Like, and so it was one of those stares and I was just like, I don't know yeah. what's going on, but I don't like the judgment. Ooh, girl, yeah, no, he touched me. Wow. That was so disgusting. Yeah, that's that was, really, really amazing. That was so fucking... And that's when I knew, because I had heard, like, you know, girls were doing stuff with teachers before that. But that's when I that's when I started to, like, in my head, like, I don't think, you know, all of this, this judging These of the teachers, girls is, bro, is okay. They need to start. I don't even know. I don't even know what they can do. 
I don't know what they can do because no, because it's like who who are these people supposed to talk to? Like this is like this is gonna sound really bad, mm-hmm. but this is one of those in- instances where I'm happy that the law system in Nigeria like is is shitty because if one of these girls get fed up mm-hmm. and and they self defend themselves and they end up killing these teachers, as long as nobody knows who killed the teacher, she wouldn't go to jail. No one was here. She would she would get locked up and stuff because yeah. they'll do investigation. But it's like not to sound like an asshole and not to be saying, you know, go and kill people, but at least you're off the streets and you're not over here molesting any more people. You know, like I went to a whole church school and and teachers are doing that and nobody's saying anything about it. And the teachers know and the reverends know and the priests know. Like there was even there was even a time where I feel like someone was saying one of the priests were... <coughs> girl, that's not shocking at all. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know. Oh, yeah, girl, I forgot. We're... Catholics, girl. Oh, yeah, they'd be out here. Yeah, Catholics be out. Like, yeah. I don't... Yeah. Don't get me wrong, Christians are a mess, too, but, like, Catholics... They, yeah. I don't know what y'all be doing. Like, <laughs> hey, you know, girl. girl. I be looking at Catholic religion and just giving it side-eye because it's just, like, I don't know. Going on. <laughs> like, it's just a lot... I don't know, like, this is off topic, but like, it's kind of groups, groups of like religion, like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like sub subgroups, yeah, like being Baptist and all that. Like, sometimes I don't like to like uh, categorize myself into anyone because I just feel like there's a lot of people that just do a lot of bad things, yeah. That, like, I don't want to put my name on, you know what I mean? Yeah, saying? you don't want to co sign it, like, yeah. oh, yeah, also, even though this yeah. happens, I'm still that's why I like to have my relationship. On the on, 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 my, on my own with, yeah. with God, you know what I'm saying, rather than attaching myself to some type of church or this and that, because at the end of the day, these people are faulty. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yes, girl, I don't gotta tell you, you know. <sighs> okay, so uh, apart from the from the rape molestation aspect, girl, when I was at school, they used to make us. We're the students, you mm-hmm. know. You have to give offering. Yeah, they used to. <laughs> They used to make us give at least a certain amount of money for offering every week. I said, where are we supposed to be getting this money from? Where are we supposed to give? Like, we haven't seen, we haven't seen, we haven't seen our people. We already know that's not going to, to, that's not going to God. It's not going to God. It's not. I said, he doesn't need that. So who, who is it going to? Because we haven't seen our people in two months. It reminds me, who's giving me me money? When I went to, um, church with, um, like a friend in, in Dallas. Mm -hmm. And um, we went to T.D. Jake's church. Oh. And it wasn't him preaching, but it was somebody else. And it was time for us to give offering. Mm-hmm. And this guy was, like, waiting for us to give offering and stuff like that. So me and then the friend didn't give offering, okay? So he was, he literally said, <laughs> literally said, like, literally, he said, because <laughs> you're supposed to pray over it. Okay. So he said, everyone that gave offering this prayer is for you. What? So anyone, only people that gave money, didn't okay, you get the blessing? For. Yeah, you get the blessing. Everybody else, shame. He literally said that. No. You see, you see what I'm saying? Like, so, so people, God doesn't love me because I didn't give money. I, because I, I don't. So if I'm, if I'm poor and I'm homeless and I don't have money to give, then God, God is like, ooh, broke bitch. <laughs> like this, do you see? It's just, <laughs> that's separate, but just like you know what I'm trying to say, like. Yeah. It's, the shit is all connected yeah. because it's it's literally like a mindset. Because if we weren't at a school where, and if we were not in a society where elders are meant to be respected to the highest of order, then, you know, maybe the girls might have felt a little bit more comfortable saying no. Mm-hmm. But we, we were. And then if we were in a place where people actually looked after young children proper, maybe yeah. girls would have said, Hmm, I could tell. But I'm not even going to sit here and act like only girls were getting fucked up at that school. I oh, find out later, God. girl, I found out later that um, after when, after coming back, mm-hmm. that um, a lot of the seniors, like, so seniors are, like, upperclassmen. So they're the ones that are, like, in the dorms and the hostels with you. And they're, like, I don't know how to, they're, like, the, um, 
they're just trying to make sure everything's going smoothly. Like, you know, they have some authority. So they're not like teacher status, but they're like teacher's helper. Yeah. So they're allowed to like, you know, discipline you and give you punishments and you're like, they're allowed to tell you to do their chores and just like a whole bunch of shit. So come to find out way after coming back to America, like that some of my classmates that were dudes were out here getting raped by these upperclassmen. And like it's males sickness. getting getting raped by other males, it's sickness, so know. it's like, and nobody. And I was like, mm. and then the way that he even talked about it, he didn't even like call it rape. He was just like, oh yeah, you know that guy in our school, because there was this boy in our class. Everybody knew, well, not everybody, but he was flamboyant as shit. He was the first person I've ever seen in my life who was gay, like you know that like the, in my vicinity. Yeah. And he was really flamboyant. And he was really girly, and. <laughs> Nigerian culture, that's not shown on the media. So where did he learn that from? For y'all that are saying that gay people don't exist, please tell me where he learned that. Nowhere. He just liked that, you know? So no one really thought anything. At least I didn't think anything about of it. Like, I just was like, okay, you know, he was really funny because he used to be, ooh, girl, he was quick with the comebacks. This man apparently was getting um, plowed by the fucking, mm. the fucking upperclassmen. And when my friend told me, he was like, oh, yeah, you know, um, homie, like I, I in the dorm, we know we used to hear 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 the shit happening, and we just wouldn't come inside the the the, the door the hostel. Mm. I was like, are you serious? He was like, yeah. I was like, so y'all would know the seniors that were having raping dudes? And he was like, oh, he was like, he was like raping. He, I was like, do you think they asked? I was like, did they? Was it mutual? He was like, honestly, I don't even know. He was like, but everyone knew the seniors that did it, and I was like, and nobody said anything to them he was like no because it was always like people that could beat you up i said so i said do you think that you've seen people were gay and that's why they were raping the boys that obviously were gay mm -hmm. or do you think it's just because they were horny like he was like honestly i never really thought about it he was like all of us just knew that the shit happened and we just no one mentioned it because yeah. i didn't know that shit and Ooh, there's not that much going on, so everyone knows everyone's tea, but yeah. it was, I guess it was just a thing that the boys did, so no one ever mentioned it. And he was like, that didn't happen for the girls. I was like, no, the girls weren't out here raping each other. Like, no. What? And he was like... You was, see how he thought he was normal? Yeah, like, he was just, like, saying, like, they all did it, that no one would even... And he was like, and so sometimes we would see them leave the seniors' place, and they would, we all knew, like... And he participated in Oh, hell no. Oh. Hell no. But because they were our class, like, they were in our, our, our class, like, our oh. physical class. He was like, yeah, like, sometimes when I see him walking around campus, he would come out of, like, one of the seniors' dorm rooms, and he'll be walking kind of funny, and all of, and everyone already knew what had happened. So no one, like, everyone would just leave him alone. I was like, what? He was like, yeah, like, they used to be over there fucking. So I don't think fucking is the proper word, but. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I said so. These, I said, even the seniors out here raping people. Even the well, seniors. they learn from the adults, right? Exactly. They learn from the adults, and they see no one's doing anything. Nobody cares. Girl, and look. I am so happy that not, when I tell you the way I was avoiding this teacher afterwards. Yeah, I'm, that's good that nothing happened to you because that's just honestly, I don't. I wouldn't wish that that shit on my fucking enemy. Hmm. You Girl. Know? That is like, and that's how I know, like, you could literally just freeze. Like, I was just like, yeah, exactly. That, they'll always be like, why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? Why didn't you? It's like, I don't like hearing people saying, like, why, 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 and this, this, and that. Like, when you weren't, you've never been in that situation exactly. ever in your life. You exactly. I mean? Like, adrenaline works two ways, fight or flight. I literally did both. In the moment I was there, and I was looking at him, I was just like, I cannot believe this man really just. Then after he stopped talking and he was just staring at me in my face, I didn't even tell you. He was so close to me. Mm -hmm. Cleo, he was so close to me. He was so close to me. He was like breath hairs away from me. Like, yeah. and then he was so close to me that I felt his, I felt his leg, mm -hmm. like his thigh was like touching my hip. Mm -mm. <laughs> what the heck? Like he was, I was like, I don't know if you're trying to rub your dick on me. And I really felt like that's probably what he was trying to do because he was just staring at me, smiling and yes, looking at me. Yes. I was like, why are you looking at me? You already said what you said. Yeah. And so I just kind of was like trying to... I was like, yeah, I'll just wait for Auntie to come back. 
ran, I turned around. And she said, vroom. And I ran the, oh, girl, I know I was kicking up dust. I ran the fuck out. I said, no, 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 no,
No, no I just no. didn't. I wasn't. I didn't know for sure. Like, I don't want to come and say, I did not oh, like he's trying that. to rape me. I did not like I know that. He's not. That shit was really like, I was like, oh my God. Like, I was just so uncomfortable. Like, like you're, Cleo? Literally, you're literally blasting to the whole. He was like, Who got her my Who got her a present? Da, 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 da. No, only I should talk about. I only I should be doing this, isn't that? Oh, God. Dude, oh, God, like, literally. Oh, God, oh, God, now, honestly, I, I, I misspoke. That is blatantly being like, it wasn't just kids in the, in the cafeteria. It's literally, you know, wow. teachers, everything. Wow. And everybody was seeing that. And then, like, okay, so after that, I stay clear. Like, I really, really stay clear. I was like, no, this is too much. But it, he ended up getting fired because it turned out that he ended up, like, um, touching on one of the students. See, oh, gosh. <laughs> Some his, uh, one no. of the Hispanic girls. He ended up touching on one of them. Yep. Wow. Yep. Wow. At my school, the most that I know that happened, like, because... Ah. Maybe I should have been a little bit more in tune with my school. It's just because I, I found out awesome, Girl, awesome sure, shit I tell you for sure, after, after high school. Stuff was happening, at your, like, for sure. Like, I know for sure, like, the female teachers used to be, apparently, I don't know which one, but which ones, because I just didn't really give a shit. Yeah. But apparently, like, they used to be entertaining um, the... The boys? Yeah, the, the football boys. I believe it. And I was just like, ooh. But I was like, really? Mm -hmm. Really? Because they, and I would ask, like, oh, who? And then they would say, like, oh, some of the cheerleading coaches. But I was just like, is this really true, though? Like, but then one time, in front of my face, one of the English teachers, this white lady, ooh, she was so giddy when them black boys came into her classroom. Oh, no. She used to give them candy, snacks, <laughs> Jesus. food. Like, girl, I'm not kidding. And then niggas look like grown. a lot of teachers actually do be blatant. They do be blatant. It's just... They, they act like they... That, it's like, weird. They like, act like they're a nice teacher. Nobody does like anything cool about teacher. it until, like... The thing about it is, like, someone will do something about it once it's told. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, rarely would a school just, like, be like, oh, okay. Yeah, you know that's saying? true, that's true. Like, that girl told or somebody told that the guy did that, mm -hmm. you know, the teacher did that, and got then fired. she got fired. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. Now, did he go to jail? We don't. I don't think so. But I know, oh, yeah. I know for sure he, you know, he did, he did, excuse me, he did get fired. You know what I mean? Yeah. Usually I feel like when the jail stuff starts happening is when they got texts and stuff. When they got, like, text messages. Mm, yeah you know. or what if it's like multiple people like because yeah, i remember seeing, there was one in houston where the teacher ended up spreading um hiv to like all the track students oh wait what mm -hmm. I'm playing with you yep it was a coach in in some part of uh of houston that was sleeping with the members on the track team and he had hiv and he spread it he spread it it spread it spread it spread, spread, it. spread it to all of them all of them, and then I like like some of them H had were spreading it to stuff. other people. Yeah. If you have HIV and you know you have HIV, it's literally a crime to have sex with someone yeah. and not tell them. Yeah. So did he did he not know or he knew? He did know. He knowingly did that. Attempted murder on everyone, on all of them. <gasps> I thought he just didn't know. He was just fucking, and he just oh, happened no, to have he HIV. Knew. He knew. He actually knew. Is that not a death penalty? Like, I feel like it's one of them things where like the he was penalty? like, I, if I have it, everybody has to. Like, you know some people think like Yeah, that. because they're so bad. Condom! Wear condoms! Mm. Mm -hmm. Just because the girl's on birth control does not mean you don't need to wear a condom. Just because you like guys and the guy can all get pregnant does not mean that you don't need to wear a condom. Condoms! Please! STDs are real! How are you gonna get mad at me because you, have, you got HIV? Please! Were you wearing a condom? Were you wearing a condom? You trying to not pull out method because you're not gonna get her pregnant, nigga. Love, STDs, end up getting HIV. HIV. That's worse than a baby. Yeah. Is it not? <laughs> oh, a baby's a baby. Yeah. Give me the baby before I get an STD. I'd rather have a baby than herpes. Yep. They're both for life, but which one is the worst? <laughs> yeah. Come on. Yeah, that's a mess. Oh my I god. Know, but I, I just feel like I was telling Vi that like. Every school I went to, there was something that happened. That's like, crazy. When, when she told to, me that um, shit, I said no. Yes, <laughs> yes. When I was in uh, my first middle school, there was a volleyball coach that was also touching them. He was groping the kids. Yes. When it, like, you know how we have to get, like, um, you know, size. Mm -hmm. Not, you don't really have to get size, but you have sizes for your outfit. Why he was sizing the people up, I don't know. 
but you were sizing them and he will be touching them groping their breasts i'm not even playing with y'all yes i remember i was so scared because i was trying off for volleyball and i was like bro i don't want that shit to happen and i remember like you i used to see him oh my god he would he would look at the look at the, the girls and stuff and i was kind of like bro i can see it like i can really see him being you know what you you know fucking what you know how I used to be I, I used to be so mad when I used to be so pissed because I was like, how come we have dress code and it feels like the only people that are getting their dress code and for some of them are all the black girls that go to my school. Mm-hmm. All those little white girls used to be wearing short shorts and nobody would say anything, anything yeah. and they would say that they're in soccer or that they're in track <laughs> and those loose out shorts they would let them wear it. Yeah. But the black girls that were also in the same sports couldn't wear the they same shit. Wear, yeah. And even sometimes their shorts would be longer and they would get sent to the office. Maybe maybe these female teachers were trying to help them by maybe you should cover up because probably not because because these female it's, teachers it's, it's still racism yeah. it's still racism <laughs> yeah. but you know I was just like maybe maybe I I said racism uh, too fast but I I just maybe they don't see that they are in a way helping like you yeah know what I mean like indirectly like they mean it in a racist way but they are helping if that makes sense yeah because the way these people used to be these male teachers, that's not just. Is that two inches? Pa- I said you're looking that hard to see if it's two inches. Sir, stop looking at me. Girl, let me even tell you this one. This is a kicker. This is the worst. This is the worst one. I was going to tell you it before, but I was like, no, let me get her live reaction. Okay, so I don't know who all uh, is listening to this podcast that ever went to Yes Prep around the time I did or whatever. I'm 22. I don't know mm-hmm. if you went around, but if you went to Yes Prep around that time, trust me, you'll know. And Yes Prep is just like, it's like from... I think it's from middle school all the way to high school mm-hmm. i don't think it goes any younger than that if it does then things change i don't know mm-hmm. but okay so at my location there wasn't really anything that had happened but i remember there was like a service announcement that came like one of the days they like were handing out papers and it was saying that like a student ended up like um doing something with a teacher because at yes prep the way that charter schools are set up or that particular charter school is set up you're very very close to your teachers you're meant to have their real phone number Oh. Yeah, the real life phone number. Like, the, they ain't no fake phone. It's their real phone. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can even go to their house. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. You know, they can drive you home. All that stuff. Okay. And the teachers are younger. You know, they usually teach for society or teach, okay. teach for America. Excuse me. Not teach for society. <laughs> teach for America teachers. So, the younger teachers. Okay. So, at one of the locations, apparently, a, a teacher has slept with a student. So, a and they were telling us, huh? a female teacher. oh, excuse me, it was a uh, male teacher and a female student. Oh, okay, okay so wow, he's they were, old. You see? Mm? So, I was like, okay, everybody was like, we gotta find out, we gotta find out who it was, bitch. They were telling us, they were like, <laughs> they didn't want us to talk about it or nothing, they just mm-hmm. wanted to let us know because they had to. And I was like, oh no, we're gonna find out. So, I was searching, 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 search, search hard, 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 hard. <laughs> found him. <laughs> I found him. Okay. It was this Indian teacher, Indian looking teacher, and mm-hmm. a Hispanic girl. And so on the news, my mom, my mom called me and she said she said I was on the news. I ran, to, I, said, <laughs> I ran to the living room. I said, "What happened? What happened?" Because these teachers, because I was, I already hated that school, okay. and I was like, I knew it. Like I knew that some of these teachers be doing some foul shit because you cannot be that close to your students and stuff not happening. Yeah. And that wasn't the, that was. I think that was the first time of me hearing about it, but I know it had happened before, and mm-hmm. it also happened after I left that school. So, girl, let me tell you what happened. Hmm. So they had been exchanging texts. They've been talking and stuff like that. Okay. And she, you know, she really liked him. She really liked him. Okay. okay. So, like I said, they can take you home. So he was like, you know, I'm going to take you home. So he scores her to her place. And then she's like, you should come inside. And he comes inside with her. Okay. <sighs> they're talking. They're chatting. And then they get hungry. He's like, okay, let me take you to McDonald's. <laughs> he <laughs> to McDonald's. And they eat. They go back to the crib, <laughs> and she was like, you know, you know, trying to be sexy. Um, yeah, sexy, like, sexy like, like, let's do something. So they ended up having sex. Okay? <laughs> so after they have sex, after they have sex, just... after they have sex, he leaves. Okay. 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 He obviously told her, "Don't tell nobody." What did she do? Mom, I just fucked my teacher. Mom, she told her mom. She told her mom. Not thinking, do you not think your mom's gonna be upset? Do you not think, if it's a good parent, I would really hope that she's like, nah, we need to tell somebody. She's, 
Unless she literally her, goes. Her mom obviously goes to the school. They go to the police. I'm cracking up people. because her and her mom must have been close. You know, like those people that yeah. have like, oh, mom, I had sex. Yeah, oh. they were. And then and then who? Like she probably didn't think that her mom. Like they probably were so close that she didn't think, think that her, her mom, mom was care was, because it was an issue. Yeah, she's dumb, and I'm happy that she told her mom. Yeah, because he's he. You're a teacher, girl. Tell me why. I, I thought it was even gonna be like student a student. That got her in trouble, like from her telling her friends. Yeah, usually that's what it is. Yeah, like no, nah, she told her mom, and her mom was like, "No, bitch, we're going to the police." What? He's dumb. McDonald's and all that, and laying one on her. He said, "Well, I got Talking some pussy. Don't, I don't got some pussy. All I had to do was buy her a Big Mac. Exactly. Spend three dollars. Like that's, that's obviously. I feel like with these men." That's really what they be thinking. Like they're like, they're like, uh, they they try to calculate. They try to calculate that. how much money they have to spend to or, get some. Yeah, money. and then and then they'll, 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 it'll be easier for them to go for go for someone that's younger because yes. their kid, their mindset is small anyway. Yes, so any little thing is a she big probably deal. Thought that McDonald's and she was like, oh my god. He actually and then she was me. like, yes, let me open no, up shit for you. For her, it's not even the fact that it's McDonald's, but it's the fact that he even bought her food. Yeah. You know, like when you're no one's buying each other food, you're not on that level yet. Yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah, you're not on that. Wait, wait, wait. She was in middle school? <laughs> or she was in... I thought... You know you said middle to high school. I thought it was maybe a high school. Ah! He, no, he didn't. She was in like 13, 14. She wasn't. Oh my god. How are you gonna... I thought... You know what I thought? I was like, okay, you know, her and her mom are probably close. She's oh, you like thought that she was in 12th grade? 17, 16, someone that's having sex, that's telling their mom they're having sex willy-nilly. Okay, she must be... Groner, you know, some parents yeah. like to just know. It's like, okay, at least I know she's having sex, so we can make sure she's yeah. having safe sex. That's why I told my mom. I was like, I was like, oh this, my god, this this idea of this school. Like, I know they like like, like to have younger teachers because they feel as though like Connection. younger teachers Understand. care. And, and don't get me wrong, like there is. Excuse me, I'm sorry. There <laughs> was some teachers at that school that were young, and they were, you know, they were mm -hmm. okay, and whatnot, and they were helpful and. You know, I guess it was good to that they were younger because they, you know, understood me more, understood my feelings, whatever. But when you allow them to take you home, have their phone number, that is just cross. I feel like that is just crossing too that many so, teacher-student boundaries. Yeah, that is so it's many. Way too much. My, t my t I remember my teacher even took me home. Like I, I understand. It was a woman. You know I, what I'm saying. But I, I, like, I, I understand know. the thought. I understand because it's like okay, sometimes everyone's parents can't yeah. make it, but it's like it shouldn't be to the point where they're like after a certain time of the night, you're allowed to call, yeah. you're allowed to text. Yeah. Like it should. And okay, there was no, after after no say, five o'clock, after eight o'clock, no yeah. more calling. You know what I'm like, saying? I remember I could I have texted my my teacher. I remember uh, that's crazy. After, I used to have I used to have math tutorials, mm -hmm. and this teacher was was a was a guy, and um. Like, I would meet him in the mornings on Saturdays, and he would, like, teach me math and stuff. And he was a nice guy, but I remember, like, texting him, oh, I'm here. Like, you know, like, it's yeah. a friend. And I remember even one of my friends. She liked him. I think they even had him. No. Oh, Girl, my. yes, we used to even, like, we used to even joke on her, like, girl, you like Mr. So-and-so. And she'd be like, <laughs> Because obviously when we're in middle school, bitch, we don't see no issue. Yeah. Cause you're, but cause, now, looking back in hindsight, that shit is not okay. Yeah, because when you're in middle school and you're trying to get to people's attention, boys' attention, older boys' attention, yes. you don't think, oh, if he likes me, that's creepy because that means he's a creep because I'm young. You, well, every age that you're at, you feel like you're grown. Yeah. I remember I remember even thinking when I saw the, saw, when I w looked at the news story, the only thing in my head I said is, Really, bitch, he ugly. At least I let it be a fine ass nigga. That's what I said. I said at least, at least let it be somebody fine. Yeah. I was like, I was, I was even like, we were all like, man, our teacher's finer. <laughs> and and That's you, it. you see, you see, I didn't see nothing else. Exactly. I mean, obviously, I thought in my head. I thought in my head. Well, obviously, I know for me personally, I wouldn't I ain't tell fucking. my mom or like. No, no, no. Oh. I said I'm not fucking. I'm not fucking. But what's if, the, if, if there, a if little, a little. Fun. Touching? Exactly. If there was a teacher okay. that you liked, that a, a, a dude, let's not yeah. even say teacher, a guy that's older than you that you thought was so fine, yeah. and you're really trying to get his attention, if he gives you a little pat on the butt, or you know, a little touch here and there, or a little peck on the cheek, and the, you'll be hyped yeah. because that's what someone you have a crush on. Yeah. You're not looking at the age, and yeah. you don't you're in your head you don't know that yeah. he's creepy for looking at little kids like you don't know that she's creepy for looking at little kids in your yeah. head you're like oh, okay i was able to get an older person mm. like that means i must look really good, good because yeah. this older person is looking at me yeah i had a crush when i was eight on my 
my friend's cousin mm. and I told her and everything. I was like, oh my gosh, your cousin is so cute. He's so cute. This is when my love for tall skinny nigga started. Tall light skinned boy. He had big ears and I loved ears so much. I like, I don't know, he was just so fine. Oh my God, he was so fine. He was so tall and he was so slim and he was like on the track team. So he was like in shape and he also played basketball. And so I think he was 14 mm. and I was eight. So obviously that's a quite an age gap. So, so I used to like, um, whenever we would go over to her house and he was there, I used to try to hang out, like, you know, hang around him. So I have no finesse game. I'm not slick. So he knew I had a crush on him, even though I never outwardly said it. Yeah. But, um, he was like, he would like, uh, joke around and be like, oh, wow. And like, you know, remind me that I'm young. So one day I was like, okay, he's not seeing that I like him. I need to just come out and say it. Yeah. And so I was really bold. So I was like, oh, do you want to be my boyfriend? I think I, I just asked him. Or I had said something like, oh, he's cu- you're cute or something. And then he was like, he was laughing. And he, uh, he was way taller than me, so he was literally looking down at me. And then I was like, um, and I was not a short kid. So he was probably like 6'1 or some shit like that, 6'2. I was like, ooh. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, do you want to be my boyfriend? Or I think I asked him if he had a girlfriend. And then he was like, no, I don't have a girlfriend. And I was like, oh, okay, do you want to be my boyfriend? And he didn't say anything. And he was like, how old are you? <laughs> and then I was like, I'm eight. <laughs> and then he was like, oh, okay, when's your birthday? And then I told him April. Mm-hmm. And his birthday was in February, I even remember. Because yeah. he tried to finesse me like I was dumb. So then he was like, oh, okay. Well, when you turn nine, um, he was like, you're too young. You have to be at least nine, okay? At least yeah. nine. So he was like, when you turn nine, then it won't be that much of an age gap. And then I was like, oh, okay. He was like, yeah, because so, so years is too many. And then he like cut the year down by like one. He was like, if you were like five years younger than me, then okay, but you're six. And then I was like, oh, okay. And then I was like, so, and I did the calculation. And I was like, and so he was like, okay, so we have a deal. So he shook my hand. I was like, okay, when I turn nine, I can try again. But then I was like, wait, your birthday's in February. You're gonna turn 15. So it's almost gonna be six years. And then I started chasing this nigga and he ran away. <laughs> he, he ran away oh my <laughs> god, thank God. Like he like he really tried to like finesse me because he yeah. thought I wasn't gonna notice. So I could leave his ass alone. Cause I used to be like over there like flirting with him, whatever I thought flirting what was. was yeah. And I'll be like, oh yeah, you're so cute. <laughs> and my like, god. Damn. Girl, I was really trying. That's the only person that I ever told that I liked. Like, them, yeah. And like the only person I really tried to get, and then he kept like treating me like his how I saw he was treating his little cousins, and yeah. I was getting so angry. I was like, I'm a woman, like I have breasts, you? I have everything. How are you like a woman, girl? I'm telling you, that's I'm telling you. And then like when these these men, so can you imagine if he if he really had had been a and creep? I'm pretty sure and this then man was like a whole. At least, like, you know, 20. Like, you know, like, you have to have gone to school to be a teacher, so... No, he's older than that. None, none of them are usually like that. I mean, if they're 20, they're, like, late 20s. I'm oh. pretty sure he was, like, 30-something. God forbid. And I saw the picture, I was like, oh! He was busted. Really? I thought, see, I thought it was someone that was, like, 23. You know, that, like, sexy age? He everyone... was not good. I was, I was... You were like, girl, we, you like him? We, that's, that's why we were even searching. Trying to see so y'all can yes. see how he looked. And when they, when they showed the messages... You know, they had the message on the screen and stuff, talking about some, give me McDonald's and da 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 And then, like, I remember they were chatting about, like, having, having fuck. He was like, yeah, that shit was so good, and this, this, and that. Like, not super, super inappropriate, but, or maybe they censored it, but I don't know. Mm-hmm. But the, it was like, you know, like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. And like, yeah. And then I think, I think, I don't know if she texted him saying, like, I already told my mom. <laughs> or, like. It happened later mm-hmm. but i know there was like some type of situation where you know he was obviously trying to get her to, to shut the hell up yeah it's too late he shouldn't have done that because so stupid i feel like she was trying to like like i feel like there was had to be a bigger motive there like maybe like he was such a fucking badass teacher and then like <laughs> i don't know I don't she know. was like maybe maybe fuck that nigga and get him fired like i i i really don't know like maybe she really did like him but I, to me it just doesn't make sense 
how she just told her mom so easily and didn't yeah, think that she would tell. She's not that old. I thought she was older. I thought she was older. And you know, like, those parents that try to, like, meet you at your level and they're like, okay, just tell me. Yeah. I won't get mad. I'll just give you condoms to make sure that you're, you know, like, those type of parents. I thought she... Yeah. Bitch, you're little. Your mom's not gonna want to hear that you're having sex. <laughs> I don't know what type of household you were raised in where you thought it was okay to tell her. Yeah, he took me to McDonald's. And you're proud of that? Because, and you see, you see. I don't think even if I was that young, I'd be proud of that. I would have shut my ass up. I oh, if, it was, if, if he gave me McDonald's, you shut up? I would shut up about everything. Really? So if you fucked your teacher, you shut up? Yes. Yeah. I would, I wouldn't, I would, if you I were would, fucking your teacher, you I would, would be, shut, I would, you would shut up. I would tell my, one of my friends, I would, but I would shut, like, I would keep it, because I would be, like, mm-hmm. so, like, because I, I would feel I mean, gross after. I know I talk. I know I would feel I gross I know I wouldn't after. even do it, but I know I talk, so I don't think that I would be able to, like, even if I told one person, I feel like they would already tell. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, he's no, like I feel, chatty at I feel, point. I feel like I would have just been quiet, because I was more, like, that's why these stupid teachers are dumb and they get caught. Like, do you really think a child is going to keep it shut? Especially... Because women, you did these, it with them so they don't think it's wrong. Especially these women, these women with, 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 um... The, with the dudes, the dudes. That are in high school. Obviously, they're like, hey, I, 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 I caught that cheese, nigga! I caught that cheese, nigga! I was all in I, that, nigga! I, I was all in that, so woo, woo, woo! I swam in that bitch. They're stupid. I swam in that pussy. That old woman pussy. Literally. That's how they be. Girl. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. we'll come back we'll come back because i have a story about how females help perpetuate male predators that have you know power that are in power i'll come back and i'll tell y'all yeah so <laughs> i don't want to it's not really story time but girl like i don't know a lot of women per- help perpetuate and like give guys the excuse to be um pedo yeah like um not to like shit on the catholic church some more but i'm gonna shit on the catholic church some more um <laughs> when i was um getting confirmed i think i was like 16 or something yeah i was like 15 or 16 so i went to a racist ass church i still go to the same church so i guess i go to a racist ass church <laughs> uh and like it was really racist because of my church leaders and I have so many horrible stories from there, so I'm only gonna just tell you a quick one right now. But one of my friends, like I was like one of the only black girls that were that was in my set getting confirmed. So they had dress code, and you know for dress code of print, for whatever reason it's always focused on like what girls should wear and shouldn't wear and what's appropriate for girls to wear. Like, and I guess these dudes could just wear whatever because I don't remember say- them saying anything about what dudes couldn't couldn't wear for dress code so the lady came in and she was like yeah so you guys are getting confirmed so you need to make sure that you're dressed appropriately and she was like um for my girls please dress um in a respectable manner you know you're not going to the club and you're not going you're not going out to your boyfriend's house so um you guys need to make sure that you're not wearing clothes um, that'll distract the priest. <laughs> this is in America. This is here. This is in tech. This is in Houston. This is in, in This is exactly why what's happened has happened. Well, I know some of the popes have been um raping boys and stuff. Yeah. But I mean, I know they've also obviously have done stuff to women too. But like, do you see how it continues? Cuz nobody sees a problem with it. And so I remember. Is that like a thing? Is that like a is that like a prerequisite? Like, do you have to like touch a few kids in order to become a pope or a priest? You're not supposed to. You're not supposed oh, to touch, are you you're sure? You're not supposed to touch anybody. I don't know. You're not. You're not supposed it sure to. Sure, seems anybody. like it's a prerequisite. They hmm. be. <laughs> so, girl. So when she said that, why did she look in my direction? Oh. And and Miss then, ma'am has a, okay. And then and you know what she said? She what said she, she can when she was like looking in my direction. This is when she said, "Yeah, so if you're well endowed, please cover up." <laughs> I said, "I know I whoa, girl." I, and she was, I said, "Bitch, my boobs are never out. What are you talking about?" And even if my so breath else is well endowed in the, in the class. 
No, because I went to, I went to, like, I was the, I was the bustiest one. Because remember, when, when I was in high school, my boobs got way smaller. When I was in high school, I was the triple D. Mm -hmm. And I think I was low-key even going to be a little bigger than that. Mm -hmm. And that's when I was like, uh, no, no, that's not anymore. I wasn't slim anymore. So I had, like, past, there was a point where I was slim and I had big, so my boobs looked extra big. Mm -hmm. But, like, I got a little bit chunkier. And when I used to gain weight back then, because I used to drink milk, it would all go to my chest, like, so I had really big boobs. Yeah. But, I mean, it it was just, like, okay. And so, and, and what about it? Like. Yeah. <laughs> like, and I was still slim. I was still on the slimmer side. So, it's, like, you could, like, you would notice. It didn't look like I just had boobs because I was fat. Because I wasn't fat. I've yeah. never actually been a fat person. Mm -hmm. But that's when I had a little bit more meat on me. And I was more meaty in my chest area. Girl. My friend was sitting next to me. Mm -hmm. And she looked at me, and she was like, so, we have to make sure the priests aren't doing shit wrong. She was like, so, it's okay that the priests are looking at us? And she was like, aren't, I, aren't we underage? I was like, yeah, we are. <laughs> and she was like, isn't he a priest? Isn't he not supposed to look at people? That, like, I was like, no, he's not. So, that's a double whammy, bitch. Oh, yeah. First of all, you're a priest. You're not meant to have sex with anybody. Yeah. You know, they're not like pastors. For y'all that are not Catholic, I don't know. Priests are supposed to be celibate for life. Just like reverend brothers and reverend sisters and nuns. They don't, that's why they're out here raping people. Because they're sexually frustrated, I guess. So they go to little kids. Because little yeah, kids aren't going to say shit. Make sense. So they're not, they're not meant to have sex. They're not meant to, you know, they're, they're not, they're just celibate. And that's like all the, 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 really the, the upper deities or you know deities, deities yeah. whatever the fuck whatever the fuck they're called i don't know how to the proper term for this shit but you know what i'm trying to say like all the ones that are have you know some standing in the church community for catholics mm -hmm. they're really supposed to be non-sexual people yeah. you know what i'm saying um so why is he even looking at breasts in the first place <laughs> second of all even if he was a pastor and mm -hmm. he was allowed to be fucking yeah i'm still 15 Underage, yeah so why are you telling me, me that I on. should should not do what I want to do so he doesn't fuck get up? Tempted. You know, get t so my me my underage breasts, my underage cleavage, a little the small that I that I can that show, have, yeah. that I can show because my fucking mom was still buying my oh, clothes and shit. <gasps> So he's really? gonna, he, he won't he he won't continue with the ceremony. Instead, wow. he'll be looking at my breast and he will take me to the back and go rape me because I won't have sex with him. So it's gonna be rape. Yeah, you're over here telling me, oh yeah, you guys need to make sure to cover up. You know, it's not a club. Everyone started laughing. Everyone everyone thought this was so funny. Them fucking lame ass jokes. You know how white people tell <laughs> jokes that's not funny, and all yeah. of the other white people start laughing. Mm -hmm. And then the Asian bitches do that shit too. Like I went, to, I go to church with a whole bunch of white people, Asian people, and Hispanic people. Yeah, and all the white people and Asian people were. <laughs> this is, you still go to the same church? Yeah. <laughs> I said, "What's funny about what she said?" And since that's what everyone was laughing is when my friend was talking to me, and she was like, "It's my friend from from Florida." Yeah. She was like, "Um." I said, "Girl, you're looking at me." I said, "Florida, I don't know. I, I don't know." Florida. I'm finna oh, find oh, out. Oh, 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 I'm gonna call her Tampa because that's where she, Tampa. I don't know. I, I don't know. I said, oh, "Girl, no. I don't know why they're they're over here laughing like that's okay." Yeah. That what they fuck they just said like sickos. And I was like, she said that I was even wearing a t a regular t-shirt, a crew neck. I said, what are you looking at me for? I don't come in here dressed with no clothes on, you racist bitch. Like, that, that lady was so fucking racist. Mm, mm, mm. And then, you want to come and be also trying to ha hype up misogyny. Oh, yeah. Cover yourself up. If you don't want to get raped, cover up. I said, so all these people that are like full blown out Muslims and full blown out nuns yeah. that be covered up head to toe why are they still getting raped then if nobody can see shit yeah so it doesn't even matter girl yeah yeah all these people that have a little bit of power nothing ever happens to them cause then if if I came in and the, the priest did some wayward shit they would be like well I did tell you to, to come dress appropriately look at what you're wearing she was like, make sure that the heels aren't too high. She said, no. Uh -huh. She said, no hooker heels, please. That's what she said. She was like, those hooker heels, stripper heels, don't wear them. It's nope. funny because, like, it seems like the Catholic Church, it or your church specifically, I don't know about it, it all together, mm -hmm. is very, um, what's it, like, you can't come this way and that way. But, like, I know in, like, Christian churches, 
or like the churches I've gone, it's mm-hmm. very come as you are. Like no, when I went to you, you can you can come wearing whatever, but it's a ceremony. Like it's just like oh, um, oh, yeah, I was getting oh, confirmed. Girl. So I was so basically, like, what is happening? Yeah, yeah, I was getting confirmed. So basically, I was like, I thought if it's like a, if if it's like I felt I felt like if someone's coming trying to come into your church and they're trying to figure out what y'all are about, like why are you so? Oh yeah, no, no, no. It was it was a ceremony. So oh. basically, it's like baptism is mm-hmm. one's um con- confession, not confession, commun- communion is one's, and then. You can get confirmed. So yeah. confirmed is like another cer- a big ceremony. So you have to like go to Bible school to to make sure that's what you want to do. And like the whole bishop comes yeah. to come and confirm you. So it's like a, a situation. Yeah. So she was just trying to say dress code, which is cool. You know, you want us to all wear black. Okay, we all wear black for the. But that's not even what she was do you saying. Even see? Do you see the priest? What like um like like on the day to day. Um, what am I trying to say? Like whenever you. Like, if you were trying to chat to him, mm-hmm. could you just go? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. But it would be, like, on some confession shit. Okay. But he, they're always at the church, so you can really just go and just, like, talk to them. I never do that shit. Oh, I was just wondering. But, yeah, they can't, like, after church, sometimes they stand out there, and they're like, oh, you know, they talk to oh, okay, the kids, and they're like, yeah, they're, like, really, like, friendly. Okay. But okay. that's why when she said what she said, I was like, is there something that we don't know about him? <laughs> no. No, like, I was really, like, yeah, I really I looked at her. I was that's like, like it, is there something you want to let, let us know about? Please, so we can talk and inform my parents. Crusty. Oh, I don't even want to. I'm not even playing with you. I'm not even going to continue talking about her, but yeah, like, um, I just thought that the um, video she sent me, it kind of struck a nerve because I was just like, I already know from the response that the schools gave. That and a lot of females have, I'm sure have experience. Yeah, like, everybody knows, like, that's a, like, it's a, it's a thing. So it's like, it's so normal that, like, it's not news. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, there really didn't need to be an investigation if you lived there because yeah. you would already know who did it. You know, at least here they would have to do slight investigation. Like, but it's so regular in Nigeria and like I guess other West African countries. I don't know about other African countries because they didn't cover it, but I know for Nigeria for sure. And then it still happens to also be in the documentary. So I was like, you see, look at you, look at you hate like you just hate women so much that you do anything to women and then you blame the woman as if you didn't just do the shit to her. Yeah. Like, the fact that the girls couldn't even say what they wanted to say, they were in full-blown masks, and then they were even sh- filming them from the back with the whole mask, like, mm-hmm. just to make sure that... They didn't see what type of exactly, body... Exactly, body type. That. And then I think they even altered their voice. Like, yeah. all of that, because they will really, like, have you arrested. They'll call the police on you and have you arrested, and then they'll rape you in the jail. No one should even, should even feel that, excuse me, that, you know, scared that they can't even say nothing. Exactly. So it's like it's just really sad because it just feels like, no matter where black people are, like people the community the doesn't care. God or something, huh? I said, and these people say this this stuff in like in the name of God. Or yes, something. they used to do that in churches. Like, God will give you a baby, and then you find out that the pastors and the priests are over there having sex with 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 the women. Yeah. Too. But are you good? God didn't give me the baby. Then you did. Like, you're over here trying to make it seem like God is just going to bless me how God bless Mary. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's not going to happen. You're over here touching me and stuff. And then you're trying to lie to people that you didn't. Like, everyone knows that that's what ha- happens. But, yeah, like, there's been other insta- instances of, like, um, molestation and stuff. Yeah. But I just felt like that was just having to do with, you know, people that are supposed to be looking out for you and protecting you, fucking up and shit. Doing, yeah. Like, like, the abusing you. Stuff, abusing you pretty Like, much. abusing their power, abusing mm-hmm. you. So, they do this shit often. They do this shit here. And it's happening, you know, everywhere. It happened. yeah, it does happen everywhere. So, it's mm-hmm. not even, like, it was just, like, straight Nigeria, straight Houston. Like, it happens fucking everywhere. And I yeah. just felt like, when she's, when, when my friend, like, basically when I saw the video, it just, like, brought Shook up. Shook a nerve in her. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, we gotta talk about that shit specifically we can well also probably not probably for sure in like other seasons we'll talk about like molestation and raping like more on a like you know peer level yeah but just know that people abuse their power like in multiple ways last episode you saw how authority abused their power for like murder situations and now Mm -hmm. it's for like rape situations it just seems like when everybody anybody gets a little taste if any power they go they crazy yeah like they i don't and i don't know yeah. if it's because that's the type of person they already were gonna be 
or if it's something exactly. with power that is gonna turn whoever has it into a shitty person. Yeah. Cause, yeah. cause there's no way like what even celebrities. Well, clearly we yeah. already know that. Yeah. It's just like it's just I feel like it's really just anybody with a little bit of power. Like I feel like you can the person can start off as a person that's you know you know good wholesome and all that in some cases mm-hmm. and then as time goes on and they just see how people treat them and yeah. like cause you know when, ha- when you have power like people treat you different people say stuff to get you to do this and that yeah. you know and it just starts wearing on them and I guess in turn like they're taking that and they're like abusing that power you know yeah. what I'm saying and it's just like I don't know I just don't feel like anybody not I'm not saying that anybody was meant to have power I just don't I just feel like obviously nobody was meant to take their power and abuse it to yeah. the other people yeah, mm-hmm. and then there's a way that you can, like, you can, like, um, I don't want to say gas people, mm-hmm. but there's a way that you can gas up people that have, like, you know, more authority than you to yeah. make them feel like they're actually more important than you when they're really, when they're really not. Uh, yeah. And so then they take, like, oh, okay, these people, whatever I say, they listen, so let me try this and try that. And mm-hmm. then they just got lost in it. Like, mm-mm. So, yeah, that was really just the episode. Um... I want to thank you guys for listening. We will come back to, um, like I said, we will come back to abuse in many forms. We're going to mm-hmm. talk about that again in later episodes. It's a big theme in the black community. Mm-hmm. Uh, the black community in Nigeria, the black community in the U.S., the and the community of women, every er, any community, to be honest. Yeah. But when we talk about it later, we're, also, we're going to talk about it specifically in the black community as it pertains to, you know, yeah. molestation in the household exactly. and, um, you know, family friends and just like I other shit that. like that, like more personal level shit. This is like kind of people that are like, you know, you don't really know well mm-hmm. that are Abusive putting your, yeah, that are so. putting your care yeah. your, and then they fuck your shit up. Yeah. So yeah, we will come back to that. We really thank you guys for listening. Um, uh, like we said last episode, we do have a YouTube channel. We would love it if you guys um, subscribed to it mm-hmm. and watched the video so you guys can actually get real-time notifications so you guys can interact with us. Um, it's going to be really interactive on there. Like we said, our YouTube channel is 20-something podcast. You can type up the name of the last episode if you listen to it, and um, our YouTube channel will pop up. We don't have that many subscribers, so if you just type in our YouTube channel, it's not going to show up off rip. So 20-something and then you can type in can I give her a hug Mm -hmm. and our YouTube channel will pop up so you guys can listen um, to our our videos on there you guys can subscribe you You can can... also listen to our um, podcast on Anchor Spotify Apple Podcasts really in almost any podcasting platform yeah we're almost on all of them like radio cast and a bunch of yeah and Google Podcasts like just so so just go ahead and and, like see which which um, format works the best for you which format you like better and also I just wanted to like stress that they're all are free from what I know they are all free so um if you like are worried that like something's gonna be charging you or you're gonna have to like pay money you don't have to but if you're just really not sure and you just really don't want to that is why we are also putting our videos on YouTube, as Vi said, so you can also listen to it there. Yeah. yeah so. And you guys can send us emails at cleoviolet20 at gmail.com, C-L-E-O-V-I-O-L-E-T-2-0 at gmail.com, so you guys can send us questions, comments. For the last episode, we really, really want to hear what you guys have to say yes. about the British actors coming over here and how y'all feel about that. Yeah. So if you guys want to email us your thoughts, you can go ahead and do that. If you want to email us some personal experiences yeah. or like, you know, if you have topics that you actually want us to talk about, mm-hmm. you can also email it to us so we will talk about it yeah. and we'll like do the best we can. We'll probably do a little bit of research first if we don't know anything about it, if you don't have any personal experience. And... um like we said earlier, we really appreciate y'all. Appreciate you guys listening. Please share this podcast with your friends if you enjoy it. If you know that there's an episode that your friend would like, you could recommend it to them. We really, really do appreciate all of our listeners. Yes, definitely. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I was gonna say that. Um, make sure that you um, definitely listen to our last podcast. Oh yeah. And definitely, like she said, comment um, on. We're gonna make sure we have the YouTube video up. Hopefully, it's gonna be up before this one is up. Yeah, 
Oh, is it? Yeah, it is. The YouTube video? Mm-hmm. Okay. For last so, week. yeah, we're going to make sure we're going to get that YouTube video up. So, if you haven't heard it, you can listen to it there and leave a comment and stuff like that because I definitely want to hear what you guys have to say. So, yeah. thank you for listening to this episode, you guys. Bye. Bye. Okay, so this week, um, my song. We're back with that song of the week. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We are. Okay, so my song of the week this week is a song that makes me um, really happy. Um, it actually just came out, but I really love this artist. Her name is Umi, mm-hmm. um, UMI. She's really, really cute. I love all her songs. Well, just about all of them. There's a few that are uh, for me. But this song is called um, Suki Dakara, and I really, really love it. It's a Japanese. Oh, like it's in Japanese, but she's American. Oh, okay. yeah, it's this black girl. Oh. So you, it's spelled um, S U K I D A K A R A, Suki Dakara. So the song is really, really good, and the video is really cute too. So you guys should most definitely check her out. And her name is Umi, U M I. Okay, so for my song of the, <laughs> for my <laughs> song of the week, um, it's Cold War by Cautious Clay. When I was listening to like the Euphoria um, soundtrack or whatever for the um, you know for the show, um, you know when you have Spotify, it starts playing like a radio of different songs, and this song came up when I was studying, and I really really liked this. So you should definitely check him out. It's it's really good. I haven't checked any of his other stuff out, but mm-hmm. I definitely will after this. Yeah. So we will see you guys next week, and I don't know what else to say. Bye. Bye. <laughs>